what exactly data is data can be any kind of information around us so data can be any kind of information that is around us now we are going to study what is information information is something that people can learn know about or understand so he, here we have two terms that is what is data and what is information okay so we will discuss more about it so let's explore some different types of data so we are giving some examples of data the first example is the leaves of a tree are green that is a type of data second type of data is kim's eyes are blue that is a data a car has four wheels and the fourth example is today is thursday so all these examples uh, all these are examples of data okay when a set of data is gathered it can provide organized information about something more specific so if we have a set of data okay if we have a set of data it can be it can provide organized information about a specific topic or a specific subject okay so for example if you are taking a school a school gathers data about its students and creates a organized set of information so we all know that in schools all the schools are gathering information about the students right like they will ask what is your parents name what what is your parents doing what is your phone number like that so the student the school gathers data about its student and creates a organized set of information and they will get organized set of information before there were computers these types of data were often kept in a file cabinets so these kind of cabinets we use these kinds of cabinets for storing the data that we have stored in the school okay that we have collected in the school so in school we will collect details about the students and we will store all these details in the file in the cabinets file cabinets okay on a student card you can see information such as student's name home address telephone email date of birth there are so many others also not only this one so here you can see the picture here there is a file or there is a card for each and every student so in that file or card you can see all the information about the, a particular student suppose that this fi this file is for um, some uh, suppose for example ali mohammed ali mohammed of some grade like uh, 5b okay this one is for ali mohammed so all his details will be stored here his marks how um, how well he is doing in sports arts everything everything will be disc everything will be in this file okay or card it is called a student's card or file so previously before the computers were introduced we will be using these kinds of cards or files okay so i suppose it is uh, understood so moving on to the next slide database a collection of data on a computer is called as database this is very important definition you have to study this definition a collection of data on the computer so if we have a collection of data and if we have stored it on a computer it is called as database the name is database today the school data is no longer stored in huge file cabinets as i showed i as i showed to you it is not stored in long uh, file uh, huge file cabinets instead every st school has an electronic database with all its students card so it will be having electronic database which means they are they will be using computer the database is stored on computer and only a few megabytes in size that which means that it is it is having the storage space is very less a few megabytes only each card looks same as it did in the past but now it is on the screen of the computer it will be seen only on the screen of the computer that is the difference from the previous one and the today's one okay so here this is an example of that student card that is on the computer so here we have student record student id you will be having an id number first name surname course code or you can provide the class like 5a 5b like that 
total score average ranking the marks of each and every subject like that we you can provide as many as information about a particular student whose name is jackson thomas okay like this you can provide information for all the students in that school i will show you another template so this one is also another template student entry student id there will be a id number student name kumar student address you can write the address gender male or female date of birth course phone number and here you can also add a picture so this is how the uh, this is how the data is being stored using computer a database is a system for organizing data so database is used to organize data and the definition for database is it is a collection of raw data that can be changed sorted and quickly search to show detailed information about something more particular so this one that is in the red is the definition for database okay it is a collection of raw data that can be changed sorted and quickly searched to show detailed information about something more particular you can use database programs to manage electronic databases that is the databases inside the computer a very simple example of a database is an electronic address book which can include information about thousands of people so there will be a address book just like a book but it will be electronic which means it will be in the computer and it will include all the information about thousands of people database a database table is a small database of similar items a database is organized into two or more tables so database means it will be having two or more table tables yeah i will show you an example now so this is an example for school database so in school database we are here the first table is for students and the second one is for teachers there are two tables first one is for students and the second one is for teachers so in the students table you can see the name of the students is listed that is kim marco lisa alex in the second one home address the address of the students for kims it is this one like that so and then the phone number the phone number of each and every student is provided next one is email address so in this row you can see kims address kims phone number kims email id next one is marco marco's home address phone number email id like that for lisa and alex so this is a table student table is here and teacher table is here in the teacher table also there will be same information so we will go back to that uh, database definition so here you can see database is organized into one or more tables you can see the tables right one or more tables so here we will be having two tables okay so this is an example for database school database this is a school database which has two tables students and teachers okay now we are moving on to record a record in a database table is an item of information with some characteristics so here in the previous table we have found out like kim this is kim's record this one is called as record this row is called as a record kim his address his phone number his email id so here we have another picture lisa this is lisa's address this is lisa's phone number and this is lisa's email id so this one a single one is called as a record the name is a record a record in a database table is a item of information with some characteristics so here this single row is a record the single row of marco is a record this lisa's this row is a record and alex is also so we got what is a record we have tables that is called database then we have record that is the individual ones so now we are moving on to the next one field every characteristic or a piece of information is called field a field has a name and some data so field will be having a name and some data so i will show you what is a field so here the field here we have four fields each record is having four fields that is first field is name second field is home address third one is phone number 
and the fourth one is email address. So, in the address book database, each record, each and every record here, each and every record is having, this is a record, each and every record is having four fields, one, two, three, four. This is name, this is address, this is phone number and this is email ID. So, that is meant by field. Every characteristics or piece of information is called as a field. So, this is an example for a field. So, I, I hope you guys understood what is the difference between database, record and field. Yeah.